Sometimes history is made from bad news. Many political pundits say that America's election of its first black president Tuesday relied greatly on the perfect storm of a spiraling economy, two ongoing wars, and an unpopular president. Just think about it. Tech dismissed star running back Brandon Orr last spring. Top returning weapons in wide receiver Brandon Dillard and running back Kenny Lewis have both suffered season-ending injuries. And two weeks ago, T-Mobile, Mr. Tyrod Taylor, went down at Florida State. This perfect storm paved the way for redshirt freshman Darren Evans to run into the history books Thursday night, recording the most rushing yards in a single game in Tech history with 253. I was just like, really? Like, it just blew my mind. Like, I knew I had over 100. I just didn't think it was 250 yards. You know? That's what he did. You know, he got warmed up, he got heated, and why not feed him? The previous record, 243 yards by Mike Emo in 2004. This game has, has really put my, my head above the water. Like, I mean, it just really showed me that I belong out here. Um, all my teammates rallied behind me, and everybody told me good game. Often under fire from fans and the media, Coach Brian Steinspring looked extremely pleased after the game. I think it's a big part of the game to be able to get some get some bigger plays, and to get them in the running game was outstanding tonight. I thought that was a uh, major contributing factor. One has to wonder how this performance will dictate Tech's offense going forward. Not only will teams be more prepared for number 32, but if Tyron Taylor returns as quarterback, Evans could see a drop in his carries. In Lane Stadium, I'm Ryan Call for the Plester.net, the College Network.